Oh, <laughs> before I begin, I would like to thank uh, all of the scripture readers, but I would especially, whoa, I would especially like to thank Shana Jones from We Are Story Folk for sharing that moment of scripture. Uh, I'm not sure how to preach after that. Grace and peace to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I am so thankful that we are together as General Council 44 of the United Church of Canada. I am so thankful that we are together as people, people of deep spirituality, of people of bold discipleship, and as people of daring justice. But most of all, I am thankful that we are gathered together as beloved children of God, of the Creator, as people who dance with the Holy Spirit, some with rhythm and some without, and as disciples of Jesus. You know, when, when we first started talking about this theme, almost four years ago, I really had the sense that we as a denomination needed to, needed to spend some time thinking about who we are as disciples of Jesus. But as we had conversation about that, we realized we needed to get a little bit deeper and, and maybe ask ourselves the question that Jesus asked the disciples who wandered with him. Who do people say I am? Well, teacher, the, the, the world says a whole bunch of things about you. A whole bunch of things about you. Some of which, some of which we'd probably agree with. Some of which, you know, we wouldn't. But who do you say I am? I think that is a question that followers of Jesus have struggled with right from the beginning days. For us as a denomination in the United Church of Canada, I mean, we've, we've had some really interesting statements, haven't we? I mean, we've got, let's see, the 20 articles of faith. Written, you know, in the lead up to 1925 when our church union happened. And then we had the 1940 statement of faith. Well, and then the 1968, a new creed that was updated in the early 1980s. And then a song of faith that uh, was written and accepted around 2006. And, and then... And then in 2012, the whole United Church, not just the General Council, the whole United Church of Canada, through the remit process, decided to take all of those statements and bring them together under the um, uh, witness and testimony of our spiritual ancestors through the stories of Scripture to help us articulate what our denominational understanding is of wide theological questions, including the one, who do you say I am? I've got to say, I love the United Church of Canada because we do go for the wide kinds of things. But we also go for the deep kinds of things too. 
And if we bring all of those statements together, we find some interesting points of divergence and some interesting points where things come together. I think that as a denomination, I think we actually do a pretty good job of being able to answer Jesus' question. But the neat thing about denominations is that they are made up of individuals, of people with experiences in their lives, of people who come from a variety of places and times, a variety of worldviews and understandings. And each of us brings our experiences, our stories, and those stories are different of the experience of Jesus Christ. So the question, who do you say I am, is just as important as who do we say Jesus is. But you know, that question isn't just answered with a whole bunch of words. And we are so good with words in the United Church Canada. Words help us to articulate what we believe. But our actions, our actions, they really show what we believe. And those two, they work together, sometimes not well, but sometimes they flow and they dance and they move and our words have to change because our actions change and our actions change because we hold ourselves to our words. We can't separate our belief and our action. Not if we're going to be integral people. Not if we're going to be disciples of Jesus. Because he calls us with all that we are. Not just our words. Not just our actions. Not just our thoughts. Not just our feelings. Not just our spirit. Not just our body. But all that we are. Sometimes it's hard for us to come together in our understandings. I remember when I was studying at a uh, theological uh, school in the US. And I remember one of my classmates sitting down with me and saying, Richard, I just have to ask you, like, I've listened to you talk over the last two years. Do you really believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And I said, okay. We have to do a little bit of unpacking here. Can, can you help me understand what you mean by Jesus, Christ, Lord, and uh, Savior? Because... I might be able to say yes, but mean something completely different than you understand. I gotta say, we spent the next year as classmates teasing out what that person meant and what I meant and finding the places where we were similar and finding the places where we were different. And there were lots of places where we didn't agree. But in the end, In the end, we were able to recognize each other. We were able to recognize each other as disciples. Because we had worked together, even though we came up with separate answers to the question. But you, who do you say I am? I love being a part of the body of Christ, that wideness that is all around God's earth. 
I also love being part of this United Church Canada. I love that over the last year, we have, as a church, tried to figure out how to articulate our call and vision. And I'm excited. I am so excited. I'm excited because as we do this 44th General Council and as we live as people of God in communities of faith, as we work to understand what it means to be people of deep spirituality, of bold discipleship and of daring justice, We're going to find our answers. We're going to find our answers to Jesus' question, who do you say I am? But do you know what excites me even more? I am absolutely certain that we're going to come up with more questions to ask each other and to ask God. And no matter what, we're going to do it together. Who do you say Jesus is? Amen and amen.